So we're in the laboratory of Sovel Mash and I would like to show you what the difference between class IE4 electric motors and standard induction motors with classic winding is. Ok, we have one electric motor of the energy efficient class IE4. You can see it here on the nameplate. Class IE4 for various voltage and frequency. Consequently, the power is 4 kW. This is what we are to compare with our motor. And so this is a regular motor and here is our motor. It's the same, the power is 4 kW. Now we are measuring the rotor length of IE4 motor and regular motor. For instance, the IE4 rotor length is 204 mm. Now let's have a look at regular motor. It's about 145 mm. Now the copper. The IE4 motor is 256 mm in the copper part. The standard one I can measure it accurately. I can touch the copper part from this side and on the other side it's somewhere deep in there. We can only measure it roughly, so it's 235 now and minus something that goes deep in there. About 15 mm minus is about 220 mm in total. So here there is less copper used and here consequently much more copper. That makes class IE4 motor so expensive. I have told you about the motor, this motor is size 104 kW. We also have a class IE4 3 kW motor. But unfortunately we don't have a regular motor. Not an energy efficient one with the same power. But we have a similar motor with the same diameter rotor. But we can see that it's almost two times shorter. Just to give an example. To make class I 4 motors, the producers of such motors make really thick short circuiters using a large amount of aluminum here. You can see the thickness. Here is how thick and deep it is. The full depth here. So there is a lot of material used. Consequently, the price of IE4 is times higher than of regular motors. That's why our task is to use the Slavyanka winding for making the same energy efficiency class that is IE4 in the cheap motor frame. That's what we'll be working on. 